asterisk, Irreplaceable by Beyonce is one of the few exceptions to that rule, by the way. Mm-hmm. But second to last song, like, it did, I don't know, there's no question. It's just like, it's a great song to have as your second to last song. Of course he is, of course he is. Um, you um, can't go by him, though. He thinks all, all right. the songs are good. Uh, all right. Uh, 30th anniversary of Precious. 30 years ago today. Um, what would you go... I gotta ask that stupid question. What, what would you go back and tell the person at the uh, Precious release party? What would you would you get in the time machine and what would you tell that person? Tell me. You, you, get, you get one sentence. The time machine works for exactly one sentence uh, long. And what's this one sentence you say to you, the you at, in the black dress at the at the record release party? Oh God, it's too many things. Can I say there's three things? No, you get one sentence of the... Can, I, can it not, be a run-on sentence? Did you not read... Can it be a run-on? Did you read can it be the, a run-on sentence The instructions clearly said on the time machine can you got one sentence. Can it be a run-on sentence? All right, all right. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I would say the three parts of the run-on sentence would be practice more, focus on your music more, and... Be sure to like... Share and subscribe. Practice. You were just asking for three degree reading. I know it must be. Well, maybe it's just practice more and yeah, and stop worrying about love. I was worried about love rather than singing about it. I was trying to pursue it and waiting for it to happen to me, and I focused on love too long and too much. You were married at the time. That's not the point. I shouldn't have been married to that one. Oh, high quality point there. I'm just saying. I was looking for something particularly, and I should have slowed down and focus on my career more and had I done that I think my career would have been different okay did you not do you think you didn't practice enough I reached five so no I did not practice enough and you didn't focus on music because you tell yourself you have to I focused on music but you I reached five supporters don't forget to thank them oh thank you I don't know what that means I do I, I do oh the badges Thank you for grabbing badges. Everybody who grabbed a badge over Thank on uh, over on that Shantae's. So cool. I don't even was, know. I, mean, I, I didn't know what that thing up. was. Um, but the support is the support is awesome. Um, Thank you. Always like just just the the the, the spiritual and energy uh, uh, support. Absolutely. I, it, oh, that's just, amazing. Like I, I like didn't catch even a nation. That that will that, what, what you what you fed me with tonight. Um, sometimes there's going to be a moment where I need to hear that in my head and your voice and uh your your your, your person's voice was that sister or, or wife it was wife it was, it was wife, wife. You, you're you, catch a nation catch a vibe nation i need to know you what you and your your sister said uh, you and your wife said what we'll, we'll, we'll carry with so yeah. we appreciate that we just appreciate the, the 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 badge um loopers of course appreciate because it's a body roll um 30th anniversary <laughs> of precious you really didn't practice you don't think you practiced enough no i did not practice live performance oh. enough i did not You're still i'm um, look you, shante comes to your town go see come come see the show i'm better now uh, yeah, be free yeah. oh that was the third part be free don't don't think so much about um because then i was a little more constrained a little restrained on myself i didn't let go and just do what i wanted you know it was i i was worried about how i looked if that looked right or wrong i should have practiced in the mirror then i would have known if it looked right or wrong but i didn't do as much of it that as i should have let me let me, let me run to people let me run to people this is what you this is what happened when you look right this is what happened when you look right i'm gonna be honest with you this is what you know not that part of when you, right when you look oh, right that's what that's what it is you, that, that's what you do when you look I'm right i'm not saying i wasn't yeah player if that's what i'm get, talking they, about you, that, stop. yeah you're uh-huh. just making them remember how young i looked before oh my gosh it's okay i'm okay that i'm i'm almost okay that i'm older i like it you are you, you, I don't like it. Fine. But my point is not about being older or younger or looking like I was attractive. Not that part of it. It is about practicing my craft and live performance. You know, when in the Diana Ross and Supreme days, they actually were in the studio practicing, working, which is why Michael was such a great performer as well, because he practiced. He was in there and doing his job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would have done more. Uh, oh, Bahar, we, 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 have to, we, we should talk. Uh, good to see you. Um, all right, I, I, I saved. Uh, in, you know, look, there's so many. Play- I can't, can't say that you saved the best for last because I just saved this song for last. Um, um, because it is the song that more uh, people request, as I've seen your show over the last two or three years. It's the song from this album that gets requested the most. There's a part where um, uh, you, you, 
take take requests. I'm 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 fizzing out too. I get a minute. It was an overnight. It was an overnight flight. Anyhow, blah 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 blah. Um, uh, as if we never met. Uh, tell me what you remember about recording this song, and we're gonna get to the high notes. So I don't talk about that mm-hmm. quite yet. Uh, tell me what you remember about recording the song, as if you never met. Um, I loved how moody the song was. I did not write this song. I wish I did. Judd Nelson, I believe, wrote Judd this. Friedman. Judd Friedman, that's it. Judd Nelson. Judd Nelson is an actor. He was in, he was in Breakfast Club. He was in Breakfast Club. Um, he, um, what's up, Shaka? Had to say Shaka. You gotta get the head. Shaka. 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 We love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. See you soon. See you very soon. Mwah, mwah. I want to hug and kiss you. Uh, not the, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so they're like, well, dang, Shante, rude. <laughs> Not that kind of hug kiss. Um, so I don't. I, as, as if, if we, we never, never met, met was just so yeah. emotional. I loved how emotional the song was, and I just wanted to tap into what it felt like to lose love, and I wanted to convey that with all of my heart. So that was what I was trying to do. A song not written by you about the loss of love. Were you able to pour any of your personal experience into that? Or yes. Was- no, I, I had definitely lost love by 20-something. It's interesting how mature I thought I was when I was 20, what, 24, what, 23, recording this album. I really thought I was doing other things. I really thought I was mature. And I've learned so much since then. But even my experience at that time, I, I really did grasp that once you lose love, it was something that was difficult to, to, to have as real love. And appreciating that is... is the, <laughs> thank you. Uh, appreciating um, love when it comes and goes, um, and I think we learn these things from 16. I think from dating when you're when you're young. Even my, I watch my son go through. I watch my daughter go through it. Those things, even though you're you're in your teens, they really are your formative years emotionally. And so that was where I pulled from is my my youth, my my heartbreaks that happened. Well, isn't it great to know you have no more heartbreaks coming your way? None. You got no more heartbreaks. That doesn't yeah, mean there won't right. be sadness. I don't want anybody like, look, go up and down. We are going to have some ups Maybe and sadness. downs, and we're going to be here through it all. Through it all. I got to tell you, but, uh, I mean, if I'm going to be honest, there, the last two days for me have been very down for reasons that had that were not Shante related at all. Like, Shante had nothing to do with the things that, um, and the best I felt and the most most fulfilled I've I've been is, uh, and I thank you for this, is celebrating your 30th anniversary. You're celebrating your 30th anniversary of this. It's really, uh, it's, it's, it's awesome. 